At this point, we're going to continue to talk about some of the more advanced tools in Rhino. And now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about splitting and blending. As you can see, we have our basic head shape that we created for demonstrating the Orient on Surface tool. Now we're going to get a little bit weird with this. Create a cutting plane. We're going to cut right through him by selecting him, choosing my split tool, choosing my cutting plane, pressing enter. Now we're going to turn our little inconspicuous head into more of an alien type shape. Now these two shapes are extremely far away from each other. What we're going to do now is go to surface, blend surface. I then select an edge. That's the only edge that I need to select because you can see it goes all the way around. So I'm finished with that piece. I press enter. Then I pick my edge for my second piece. Now you see a line connects them. Here I can adjust the curve seams. We're going to leave them by default. Press enter again. Now I can change my bulge. Press OK. And so this blend has now connected them. If I want them to be one piece, I select all three and use my join tool. Blending surfaces can come up with some pretty neat effects. And it can be done virtually anywhere. For example, if I were to undo that, I'll press Control-C to copy this piece here, then I'll rejoin them. Now I'm going to create a hole in my shape by drawing a sphere, choosing my shape, choosing Split, select the sphere, press Enter, Now I'm just going to delete that piece. Now our shape has a hole in it. Now instead of rejoining the piece that I just deleted, I'm going to copy this piece back. So in other words, the shape of this side is completely different than the shape of this side. And we're going to join them by blending. Surface, blend, Enter. Now here you can see I've only selected half of my line, half of my curve. So what I need to do is zoom in, hold shift, I click there, and as you can see it's still not quite complete. I zoom in over here, hold shift, click this edge, and now the line appears telling me that I've selected the entire edge and we're set. I'll just press enter, enter again, and it's blended our surfaces. So in other words, when you make a split for a blend, or you have a hole that you would like to blend, you can use dissimilar shapes. Select all three, join, and here we have our new sort of alien-like shape.